buy this granola bar? That'll be three slaps. What? But that's so expensive. Inflation's really bad right now. Do you want the granola bar or not? Yes, I want it. I'm so hungry. Hey, girl, want to go to the mall with me after school? I can't. The currency now is tears, and I have no tears left to cry. Man, you're broke. I have lots of tears. I've been saving mine in this jug for years. Oh, wow, you're rich. Please come with me to the mall. Maybe I'll be able to make you cry, and then you can buy things. Okay, I'll come, but why do you have this? I really want to buy this bag, but it's so expensive. It's ten tears. That's nothing. Let me try and make you cry. Okay. You're the disappointment in your family. That's why your dad never came back with the milk. No one in your life actually likes you. In fact, they find you annoying. People in your life only keep you around because they're bored. But the second someone better comes around, they ditch you in a heartbeat. Stop! I'm not going to stop until you have enough tears to buy the bag you want. The reason your boyfriend cheated on you is because you weren't a good enough girlfriend. On your birthday, when none of your friends showed up because they said they were busy, they actually weren't busy. They just didn't want to come to your birthday. Also, your hair looks very, very dry. <laughs> the other day when you asked me if you'd ever be able to achieve your dreams, I said yes, but I really meant no. You're just not good enough. You're never going to achieve your dreams. <laughs> Look, Brie, you have more than enough tears. Lucky you. Lucky me. I'd like to buy this bag, please. All right, that'll be... No! All that work and what did it get me? Do you still want the bag? Yes, I do, but I'm not sure what to trade for it. Well, first of all, I like those earrings. Okay, they're yours then. But that's not enough. How about your shoes, too? Shoes, all right. And your pants. Huh? So, Sophie, where should we go shopping next? Hmm, how about a makeup store? Yes. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Bye. Bye, Mom. Hi, Bree. Hi, Timmy. How was your morning? I had the worst morning ever. When I woke up this morning, I fell down the stairs. Then I went to pour my cereal Jeez, and- stop. No, you need to hear this. I forgot the bowl. I poured milk and cereal all over my kitchen table. Yapping disease. And then I- Hi. Brianna? You okay? Timmy's gone. What happened? Yapping disease. I can't believe my brother caught the yapping disease. You know it's crazy because just this morning he was fine and now all of a sudden he's gone and all yapping the memories. disease. Why aren't you in class? I'm sorry, sir. Just something happened to Timmy and I was really sad and I'm scared because Jimmy. Uh-oh. Ow, my nose. Brianna, what happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I think my son was getting beaten up, but I think it's over now. <laughs> Brianna, are you okay? I think my soulmate just got punched in the stomach. Bree, are you crying? Are you okay? Me? Yeah, I'm completely fine. I just think my soulmate's feeling really sad right now. All right. You sure you're going to be okay? I'm just so sad right now. <laughs> ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Brother, ugh. Brianna, keep down your volume. I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith, but my soulmate's getting kissed right now by a girl or a guy, and it's making me really, really uncomfortable. I don't care. Don't disrupt my class again. <clears throat> no, just bit. Your soulmate might be having a heart attack. Oh, no, that's not good, because if your soulmate dies, you'll die too. Ah! Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Timmy. Can I play with you guys? No, we don't let stinky people play with us. Yeah, <laughs> you're stinky. Brianna, come with me immediately. <gasps> Miss Teacher, why does my heart hurt? Because somebody hurt you. Whenever someone says or does something that's hurtful to you, you'll lose a percentage of your heart. That's why when people are being hurtful towards you, you must leave immediately so it doesn't damage your heart. The damage on your heart depends on how badly it hurts you. And if you lose all your heart's percentage, you'll die. <gasps> babe! Babe! Hey! Oh! Babe, are you okay? You fell pretty hard. Yeah, I'm okay, babe. Anyways, I should get to class. All right, be careful. <laughs> that video of Brianna was so funny. I know. What video? You look so silly. Guys, what video? Mommy, why did this word on my forehead? It won't come off. Sweetie, that's your soulmate word. Soulmate word? Yes, but the word's not finished yet. Only your soulmate will have the other half of the word. If you think someone has the other half of your word, you can press your heads together. And if your word disappears, that means they're your soulmate. But the word you and your soulmate makes also has meaning. In your case, that isn't very good. 
Why, Mommy? Because the word represents how your relationship with your soulmate will be. The other half of your word might be heart, which means you'll be heartbroken. <gasps> Look, everyone, Brianna's forehead says broken. That means she's going to have a better relationship with her own soulmate. You guys don't know that for sure. The other half of my word could be something good. I don't know how the word broken could ever be good. I already met my soulmate. Our word is lovely. Aww. Hey, Brianna, I saw someone today that had heart written on their forehead. Maybe they're your soulmate. It would match your word perfectly. Who? Who is it, Eugene? Show me now. First, you need to do something for me. All right, Eugene, what is it? What do you need me to do for you? I need you to say on video that Eugene is the smartest, coolest, hottest guy in the school. No, Eugene, I'm not saying that. It's not true. Fine, then I won't show you where your soulmate is. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll say it. Eugene is the smartest, coolest, hottest guy in the school. Now say that you mean it and you're not lying. I mean it. I'm not lying. Perfect. <laughs> good. Is that good enough now, Eugene? Now show me where my soulmate is. All right, but first you need to put this on. Remove the blindfold. Ugh. Was a blindfold really necessary, Eugene? Yes, it was. Look, there's your soulmate. Stinky Sam? Eugene, I thought you were going to show me someone who has the word heart on their forehead. Yeah, and I did. It says fart. Sorry about that, Sam. Eugene told me I would meet my soulmate. You don't think we might be soulmates? I don't think fart broken is a word. You said you were looking for the word heart, right? Yeah. I haven't seen that word, but I saw another word that might match yours. I saw someone with un written on their forehead. <gasps> Stinky Sam, who is unwritten on their forehead? Un broken unbroken it matches perfectly with my word that person might be my soulmate i'll tell you who it is but first i have a favor to ask you okay what is it never call me stinky sam again but you smell really really bad that's it i'm not helping you find your soulmate okay fine stinky i mean sam i won't ever call you that again thank you now i'll take you to the guy who has the word unwritten on his forehead his name's jimmy jimmy Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Sam. Hi, Jimmy. Who are you? That's Brianna. She might be your soulmate. That's true. Together, we'd make the word unbroken. It matches perfectly, and that would mean we would have an unbroken relationship. Well, there's only one way to find out if you're my soulmate. Bonk our heads together? Exactly. Ready? Oh. Ow, you didn't have to bonk my head that hard. Your word is still there. Jimmy, you're not my soulmate. Hey, what's up, you guys? Oh, hey, Timmy. Timmy, I don't think we've met before. I'm... Timmy, your forehead, it says... Oh, time to get ready for school. I have to get ready for school in five seconds. I need to at least brush my hair. My toothbrush. I need my toothbrush. <laughs> no. I guess I'm going to school like this in my pajamas and without brushing my teeth. But my breath can't be that bad. <gasps> what? Ten minutes to get to school? But school's a 15 minute walk. Guess I'm running. Oh, you look... I know I look terrible, okay? I only had five seconds to get ready this morning, and then I had to run to school because I only had ten minutes to get to school. You should have used those five seconds to brush your teeth. Your breath stinks! Anyways, Timmy, shall we walk together to class? You go ahead first. I gotta use the bathroom. What? I only have 60 seconds to use the bathroom? That's plenty of time, Timmy. It isn't. I need to take a... I only have 15 seconds to get to class? Was that Timmy? I really hope Timmy's okay. Oh no, I gotta get to class. I'm here, I'm here, everyone, I made it to class in time. Congratulations, now go sit down and stop disrupting my classroom. Yes, ma'am. Psst, where's Timmy? I haven't seen him in class yet. You don't know, Timmy's gone. He couldn't complete his task in time. No, not Timmy. Why is it giving me a task to do? Yeah, it does that sometimes. It doesn't only time you for tasks you were already gonna do. I'm in love with Jake. I've had a crush on him since the second grade. Ew. Why is the timer still going? Is that not good enough? I guess I have to tell him personally. Jake, I'm in love with you. I've had a crush on you since the second grade. I don't like you. I like men. Hey, Bree. Oh, hey, Sophie. I'm sorry I need to do this. Sophie, what are you doing? I have a task to do. on my hand. Sweetie, that's your soulmate symbol. Soulmate symbol? At age six, everyone receives a symbol on their hand, and the only person that will have the same symbol as you is your soulmate. You must find your soulmate before you turn 18 or else you'll die. Nah. Did you find the person who has your matching symbol yet? No, Mom, I haven't. You only have five days left until you turn 18. If you don't find it, you'll... Look, Mom, I know. I've been looking every single day. I look at everyone's hands, and I don't see anyone that matches my soulmate symbol. I don't know what else to do. Well, you need to look harder. 
Look for a brown piece of- Ice cream, I know. Don't worry, Mom. I'll find my symbol in time, okay? I hope so. Sophie, I only have five days left to find my soulmate symbol. Darn, hey, I found my soulmate symbol today. We both imagined hearts, isn't that sweet? Yeah, Sophie, that's so sweet. Who's that guy over there? Over there? That's Timmy. His symbol, it's brown and squiggly. It kind of looks like mine. Go to him, maybe you have the same symbol. Timmy! Timmy! Ah, uh, who are you? What do you want from me? I think that we might be soulmates. There's no way we're soulmates. Our symbols don't even look the same. Yes, they do. They look kind of similar, don't they? No, they don't. Mine is a brown swirl, and yours looks like a piece of... Well, Brianna, was Timmy your soulmate? No! Did you find your matching symbol today? No. So, did you find your matching symbol? No. Hey, Bree, did you find your matching... Ah! <laughs> no. I think today's the day you're going to find your matching symbol. It's been four days, Sophie. Four days. I have one day left to find my matching symbol. And if I don't, it's bye-bye from Earth. You might as well just say your goodbyes to me now, Sophie, because I'm going to be gone forever. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but your symbol. I know someone who has the exact same one. Who? It's someone I know. I can take you to him. Do you know him personally? What's his name? Are you guys friends? I guess you could say that. Brianna, who? Shh. Not right now, Sophie. I can take you to him, but not right now. Meet me outside the school at 10 p.m. and make sure that nobody sees you. 10 p.m.? But that will only give me two hours to find my soulmate. Do you trust me or not? I don't trust you. I don't even know you, but you're my only hope, so I guess I have to. Great. I'll see you later. You ready to go? Yeah. Here, take my hand. You really know where my soulmate is? I do. Don't worry. I'll bring you to him. Why'd you take me to a graveyard? Look at the gravestone in front of you. R.I.P. Jimmy? Who is Jimmy? Is that supposed to be my soulmate? It is. That's me. I'm Jimmy. Look. Your symbol, it's the same as mine. Because I'm your soulmate. Wait, but if you're Jimmy, then why does it say on this gravestone that you're dead? Hi, I'm Casey, the most popular girl in school. And if you didn't know that, well, I can't say I'm surprised considering the writers of the series have completely forgotten about me. Things have gotten really boring for me, and the writers have clearly left some gaps in my character development. So, I'm going to be taking over this episode and adding some drama to the plotline. Now you may be wondering where the director is and why they're letting me do this. Well, they're not. Say hi, Michaela. Oh, yeah. But I'm not supposed to be featured background. Isn't that right? Uh -huh. What really ground my gears, though, is what I heard was supposed to happen next in this series. Michaela, would you like to tell them your terrible idea? Uh -oh. <clears throat> tell them. <clears throat> JJ is going to lose her virginity to Zoe. Louder! JJ is going to lose her virginity to Zoe! <clears throat> was. Oh. You can stay in there. This is my episode, and I'm hosting a party tonight, and I invited the entire school. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, welcome to my party. Hi. What alcohol did you bring? Uh, I don't, I, I didn't bring any. I, I don't have a fake ID. It got taken away because they said I looked prepubescent. You do, and you are. Well, I don't have access to any. Then take some from your parents. I don't know. That's not my problem. Come back when you have alcohol to provide me. <laughs> what? Um, can I just give you a dollar? Half a bottle of lotion and some vitamins instead. Why the vitamins? This is all I had in my car. What am I supposed to do with this shit? I don't know. Fine, but mostly just because I feel bad for you. You're so Bro, my man. Mike? Bro, what the hell happened to you? You haven't been to school in months. I haven't? I don't know, bro. I got really f***ing, like lost track of time. Bro, it's been like three months. Yeah, that new strain is like crazy, man. I'll be there tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Bro, see, I don't even know. You want some? Yeah, let's go. Casey, this party is so lame. It literally just started. Will you f***ing be patient? Well, can I at least have some alcohol? I don't have any more. All I have is some lotion and vitamins. Here. What? I don't know. Carlos gave them to me. If you eat all those vitamins at once, you'll probably feel something. Isn't that dangerous? Yeah, probably. Why half a bottle of lotion? It was in his car. Oh. Yeah, that's nasty. Hi. 
You're still mad that we're dating, aren't you? Hi, Casey. If you're still mad at us, then why did you invite us to your party? Because you're my best friend. And everyone's invited. Okay, then I guess we'll just come in. Okay, then I guess we'll just come in. Or not. I heard you guys have a um, big date planned tomorrow. How does she know about that? How do you know about that? The director of the series told me. Against her will, of course. What director? What series? You can come in now. It's gonna be a really fun night. Does she seem weirder than usual to you? Yeah, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Did you tell her that I'm no longer gonna be a virgin tomorrow? No, why would I tell her that? She's already pissed that I'm dating her crush. You think that would help? Well, I didn't tell anyone. Well, neither did I. Can someone heal us? JJ, you sound crazy. Hey. Hey girl, you're not mad at me, are you? I'm always mad. Are you madder than usual? Not really. Casey told me to offer you some lotion. Casey told me to offer you some lotion. Why? She said specifically to put on your face. Um, I'm okay. She said that your faces were looking dry and that you're starting to get wrinkles. What? No. Give me that. Thank you. I can't be wrinkly, I'm in high school. Thank you so much. She also told me to tell you that she got this half used bottle of lotion as a gift from Carlos. What? I think I'm gonna throw up. Hey guys. I see my lotion's a big hit. What? Hey guys. Emma, you're really pregnant for having just found out that you're pregnant. Yeah, it's like fake. I'm like practicing because like, this is what it's like gonna be like soon. Bro, what are you practicing here for? Uh, um, these are like real. They're real. So, did you decide to keep it? Um, I like don't know yet. I'm like not gonna worry about it like right now. Does anyone have booze? You can't drink alcohol while you're pregnant. No, I just told you this is fake. But you are actually pregnant. Oh. Oh yeah. Well, what like am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like be at this party sober? Yeah. I like don't know if I want to keep this baby. This seems like a lot of work. Yeah, it is. I'll go sit down. Hello everyone, I've just arrived. Oh bro, you like just got back from visiting your family in England. Uh, no, I've just arrived to the party. My family lives in America. What's it like in England? Um, it's pretty similar to here, except less GMOs and far better gun control. I want to go to England. Hey Wolves, JJ, Zoe, I saw your post on Instagram. Congratulations, I am so happy for the both of you. And Zoe, I had no idea you were a lesbian. Same, I'm still not totally sure. We haven't had sex yet. Oh, <laughs> joking, joking, kind of. It's gonna be good, I've been studying all week. Well, if you're ever looking for a third, what, you wanna? Oh no, Carlos has been mentioning to me that he's very interested in joining. We kind of already did. What? We accidentally put his used lotion on our faces? No, 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 that, that that's not a metaphor. We literally put his used lotion on our faces. Don't ask. Just, if you see lotion going around, say no. I need another drink. You're pretty cute. What was your name again? Brody, we literally dated for like five months. Oh. You wanna hook up? Yeah. Okay. Let's go find a free room. I have no self-worth. No, save that talk for the action. What if it makes me throw up? It probably will. What if it makes me drunk? That's kind of the point. What if it makes Just me- Just drink it. My mom told me not to give in to peer pressure. JJ, you're almost an adult and have never done anything. 
It's time to give in a little bit. You're kind of a bad influence. I like it. Oh my god, JJ, are you about to drink alcohol for like the first time like ever? I had one tiny sip last year, but this is the first real time. Wow, this is crazy. I wonder whose idea this was. Mine. Well, and Zoe, kinda. Yeah, totally. So drink it. I don't think I'm ready. No, you're ready. Meet your new stepmother, Viola. It's nice to finally meet you. It's a pleasure to join the family and meet your two stepsisters, Bonnie and Priscilla. Hello. I must tell you about my daughters. Priscilla started singing when she was only four years old, I remember. No, enough about us. What about you? Huh? Oh, um, about me. I really enjoy... Oh, what a shame. She's all out of speaking time and she didn't get to say a thing. <laughs> Girls, now don't be rude. <laughs> only five minutes to speak today? I better go say goodbye to father before he has to leave for his business trip. Yes, he's filthy rich and he's leaving for two months. Yes, it's going to be great. <laughs> Danielle, there you are. I was just about to head out. Father, please don't go. This business trip will allow you to go to that art school you've always wanted to go to. I know, but what if something happens to you? I don't want to be left alone. Nothing is going to happen to me. And you won't be alone. You'll be with Viola. No, I overheard her saying that- <laughs> Darling, it appears she's out of speaking time. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. I know you will. Love you all. See you soon. Farewell. <gasps> Two hours? Finally, I get more than a few minutes to speak. Danielle, we have news. Hello. There's a thing, you know, called knocking. Uh-huh. Whatever. We wanted to tell you the prince is having a talent show. And whoever has the best talent will become his wife. He's going to pick a wife based on their talent? That doesn't sound like a good plan to me. Plus, you guys know that the king is the one that enforces these speaking laws that limit our free speech? And the prince, he does nothing about it. Why would you want to marry someone like that? Because he's hot. And rich. <laughs> and since you don't have interest in attending, here's a list of things my daughters will need for the talent show. Go get them. Two things down on Viola's list, and five more to go. Oh, my foot got stuck in a hole. Somebody! What form do you wish to receive your magical gift, my dear? A ring or a necklace? Hmm, I pick... Choose wisely, because once you put it on, you will not be allowed to take it off. I pick necklace! Excellent choice! Now the necklace will protect you wherever you go. Are you sure that necklace will keep her powers contained? Yes, your majesty. The necklace's power is quite strong. So are her father's genetics. She must never know of her aquatic origins. Her father, King Triton, is extremely dangerous. She is to never find out about him. Do you understand? Yes, your majesty. I shall watch over the princess and make sure she never learns the truth. Are you all finished getting ready? Yes, Martha. But remind me again why I'm only allowed to take five minute showers. I barely had enough time to wash my hair. I told you, too much water dries out your skin. Next you shall be telling me that if I take too long in the shower, I'll turn into a mermaid. <gasps> what? Who told you that? Relax, I was only kidding. Marina, please, no more jokes about mermaids. Okay. <sighs> Hello, Marina. Hello, Mother. I have news. There is a Prince Dominic here to see you today, and he's very interested in you. Mother, must I really speak to him? I told you, I'm over-talking to princes. They're all the same. They're stuck up and- Enough of your excuses. You are past due for a husband. Now go out there and speak to him. Fine. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> uh, a pleasure to meet you, too. Beautiful necklace you have there. Ah, uh, yes. This is supposed to be a magical necklace that keeps me safe from any harm. Or at least, that's what my mother tells me. Really? Because that looks like a suppression necklace to me. What? Perhaps you have hidden powers no one wants you to know about. Me have hidden powers? Prince Dominic, I think you're mistaken. Maybe, or maybe not. Would you care for some food? I could go fetch it for us. Yes, that would be lovely, thank you. Of course. What a weirdo. Thinking that I have powers? Yeah, right. <laughs> What's happening to my drink? <sighs> Stop! Are you alright? Oh, actually, I'm not feeling very well. Please excuse me. Wait! Marina, where did you go? Doesn't he know how to take a hint? 
My magic necklace is at 90%? What does that mean? Marina? Martha, you scared me. I'm sorry, I was just- <gasps> Your necklace, it's showing 90%. That means you're low on energy. Are you sure? Because it's never shown that- You need a nap. Before? Martha, I already told you, I'm not- Rest. <sighs> Tired. Yes, just sleep. Oh dear. How did this happen? The magic necklace must be losing its power. You were right. Her father's genes are very strong. It's now only suppressing her transformation by 80%. This is horrible. For all we know, she could have witnessed some of her water powers. The kingdom cannot know that she is part mermaid. We mustn't let her leave this room until I think of a solution for this. I'm a mermaid? That explains why my drink was bubbling earlier. I must be able to manipulate water. And this necklace, Prince Dominic was right. It is suppressing my power. I can't believe my mother was hiding this from me the whole time. I should take off this necklace and see what happens. It's stuck. Do you need some help? How long have you been in here? Long enough to hear you talking to yourself. I'm glad you finally learned the truth. Your father is very eager to see you. Eager to see me? My father is... My father is dead. Your father is very much alive, and he wishes for you to come back to his underwater kingdom. Underwater kingdom? Yes, he sent me to bring you back home. I should probably speak to my mother about this first, because... No, we must leave immediately. It's time you take your true form. Wait! That's better. I have a tail? Yes, and you... <sighs> oh boy. Marina? Time to go. Where am I? Atlantica. Welcome home, daughter. Dad? Yes, it is me, your father. I have missed you greatly, Marina. I'm so happy you two could be reunited, your majesty. Prince Dominic, you're a merman? But how did you come onto land? Same as you, with a magic necklace, except I kept mine hidden in my shirt. Are you even a real prince? Actually, that was just a cover. I work for your father, but you are princess of Atlantica. I sent him to find you, but I wanted to wait until you were older. <gasps> Marina! Come with me. We are going home immediately. Let go of her, Diana. You're not taking her from me again. Oh, yes I am. No, you can't. Enough! Everyone, it is my life and I'm going to pick where I want to live. I think it's only fair. <sighs> She's right. Where do you wish to live, my dear? Underwater with me or on land with your mother? I wish to live in both. I'm a princess on land and under sea, and I wish to attend to both kingdoms. When your father and I split up, you were just a baby and I thought I was protecting you by keeping you on land. I can assure you, she will be safe down here with me. Fine, but she'll need her magic necklace back. I helped restore its power, so you may stay human for as long as you like. Please come home with me, Marina, for a bit, so that we may tell the kingdom the truth about you. You're not ashamed? How could I be ashamed when my daughter is such a beautiful mermaid? Ready? See you soon, Marina. Welcome to Influencer Academy, where we'll teach you how to become internet famous. What's your name? My name's Sydney. Sydney White. Cute. Um, I think your follower count is glitching. No, it's accurate. So you only have four followers? <laughs> How did you get into this school? The principal seemed to think that I had potential. I'm so sorry, but I couldn't help but overhear. I think she has potential to become internet famous. Hi, I'm Regina. I'm the most followed girl in the school. Check this out. Phone, phone, my most useful tool. Who's the most followed girl in all the school? You are, with over 10 million. Do you have any tips on how to get that many followers? I don't know, maybe make some actual friends first. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about him before I wanted to know some more And now I know what they mean <gasps> Hey, sorry, didn't mean to scare you, but I'm live streaming right now and my followers heard your voice and they really like you. Keep giving her a follow, guys. Everyone in the chat is saying hi. Guess what's on my FYP? Was it the live of me singing? Uh-huh, and honey, it's getting lots of likes. It almost has three million views. I know, it's pretty crazy. Yesterday I had four followers, now I almost have a million. Well, I guess that Influencer Academy is really paying off, huh? I saw your live. Can I have a photo? Yeah, sure. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Can I get one, too? No way, I was in line no, first. No, I was. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Psst, follow me. This way. Okay, you should be safe from everyone over here. You're the one that recorded the live of me. You know what? I never got your name. Oh, right. My name's Jake. 
Jake Charming. Whoa, you have a lot of followers. <laughs> yeah, I just hit 8 million today, actually. I gotta go, but we should hang sometime. Okay. Regina, the new girl just got a million followers. All because of that stupid live of her singing? Like, she didn't even sound that good. We need to get her cancelled. And I think I know just how to do it. Baby, you sure you want me to kiss her? Yes, Chad, I told you. I'm going to be secretly recording the kiss. And once I upload it, everyone will think that she tried to steal you from me. And then she'll lose all her followers and be cancelled. Hey, can I, uh, can I kiss you? What? That's kind of random. I know, but, uh, come here. Here's the thing. Let me tell you a secret. I haven't had my first kiss before, and I'd like to have it with you. Wait, but aren't you dating Regina? Nah, her and I aren't together anymore. So, what do you say? It's just one little kiss. I don't know. I saw the live of you singing. You've got a great voice, and some great lips, too. Were you wearing some sort of chapstick? Yes, yeah, this all-natural apple chapstick. You like it? Apple? But I'm allergic to apple. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay, do you got like an EpiPen in your bag or something? Uh... Man, I can't find it. I can't breathe. Hey, Sydney, are you okay? Sydney! Sydney, I didn't expect to see you back at school today. Yeah, the doctor said I was okay to come back, but for some reason I've been gaining thousands of followers every minute. Yeah, there's a viral video of you. Chad started recording you once you passed out. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Look, yo, guys, the chick I just kissed passed out, bro. We don't know what's going on, damn you. What the hell is wrong with you? Get away from her! So now everyone's kind of shipping you and me together, saying that I'm your hero and... Sydney, please, you gotta help me. I keep losing followers. Thanks for getting me out of the mental hospital. People started hitting on me. I just had to clarify that you're not schizophrenic. Lots of other problems that probably do want to visit, but not schizophrenia. I love that you're so honest. Are you nervous? A little. Wait, about what? It's our first day back to school after hard launching our relationship on Instagram. Suddenly the hospital isn't sounding so bad. Thanks a lot. I just mean that we're gonna have to deal with the wrath of Casey. Knowing that she's literally been in love with you. And now I'm dating you and I'm her best friend. Or was probably. Casey doesn't own me. Yeah, cause I do. N no. Where did you get that? Not into that. Got it. Get some horse wings and maybe we'll talk. That's a new one. But I'll try anything. Literally, I've slept with almost everyone at this school. But I'll try anything. Literally, I've slept with almost everyone at this school. <laughs> Except the teachers. No. Now that we're in a relationship, I think we should just keep our past private. Okay. Um, let's also make a visit to the clinic soon. Why? I don't need birth control now. Unless... No, 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 I don't. I meant, I meant to get you some blood testing and swabbed. Oh, my chlamydia cleared up. It, it's good now. What now? They're coming. Seemed like I said something funny. Say is funny. God, Taylor, you're impossible. Come here. I keep losing followers. You gotta help me. I don't know what to tell you, Chad. Chad, leave poor Cindy alone. Haven't you messed with her enough? The kiss was your idea, Regina. Was it? Of course not. Why would I want my boyfriend to kiss another girl? Chad, you and I are over. You know what? Forget you, Regina. You're gonna regret this. Okay, well that was awkward. Ugh, boys. I'm so happy you're okay though, Sydney. And congrats on all your new followers. Thanks. Well, I'm throwing a party at my place this Saturday, and I would love for you and Jake to come. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll think about going then. I gotta know, why would you kiss Chad? Honestly, I don't know, but don't worry, it will never happen again. Good. I mean, good for you. Are you gonna go to Regina's party? Eh, to be honest, I'll only go if you go. Well, I was thinking of going. Oh, in that case, guess I'll see you there. You made it! Oh, and you just keep gaining followers, too. 
Is Jake here yet? No, he's not here yet, but about him... Come with me, there's something I really need to show you. First of all, did you know Jake and I used to date? No, I didn't know that. He's kind of secretive, and I'm pretty sure he's using you for clout. Look. You know that viral video he took of you singing? Read the caption he wrote about you. No, no, he wouldn't write that. That has to be a fraud account or something. Girly, it has the check mark right here, see? He's gaining so many followers from the live video of you singing that he reposted, and look, he's hearting comments that are making fun of your voice. People are following you as a joke. When you see Jake, can you tell him that I never want to speak to him again? I'll make sure he gets the message. Hey, Sydney, there you are. What? What's wrong? Come in. Sydney, can we please talk? And before you freak out, your dad let me up here. Why are you here? So you can make fun of my singing some more? No, Sydney, that mean caption about you? I didn't write that. Regina did. What? Yes, she hacked my account and she started writing mean captions about you and harding mean comments. I swear, I didn't. I gave her my password to my account when we were dating and I never changed it. Please, you have to know I would never want to hurt you. You did save my life when I had that allergic reaction and I don't think you would have done that if you didn't care about me. I do care about you. What's going on? I may have teamed up with Chad to get some revenge on Regina. Speak of the devil. Hello? Jake, why would you post a video of me plotting against Sydney? I lost over 2 million followers. So it looks like Sydney took your title of the most followed person in our school. No! Hey, could you hold this? Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, why would you throw that? This is gonna sound insane, but I didn't. I just watched you throw it. What's happening? Um... Excuse me! What's going on? Oh, is your soulmate controlling your arm? My soulmate better hope I don't find them because this hand still works and it wants to hit them. You need to calm down. What are uh, you doing? Please, I just want a sip of water. Why are you struggling right now? My soulmate hates me. They probably don't. You're just dramatic. Oh, wow. Maybe they do. Okay, this is getting personal. What did you do to them? Who knows the answer to number seven? Go ahead, Bailey. 42. No, the correct answer is the Nile River. You can put your hand down now. <laughs> Trust me, I wish I could. What are you pointing at? Um, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, go ahead. Listen here, buddy, you need to stop it right now. You're embarrassing me. Are you talking to your own arm? No. <laughs> I think I know how to stop your soulmate. Sis, could you bring me toilet paper? Yeah, one sec. Here you go. Oh my god, it actually worked? I can't believe it. What worked? You made my name toilet paper? Oops, it was an accident. Give it to me. No, you're not getting this now. Are you kidding me? I need it. Suffer. Oh, hey, uh, toilet paper? Please, don't call me that. Would you prefer TP? No, I would not. How could you get that bad of a name? <sighs> it wasn't my fault. You should plead your case for a redo to the officials. I didn't know you could get a redo. Only if it's really bad like yours. Go here, they should be able to help you. They better change it or I'm never leaving my house ever again. Next! Hi, I need to change my name. Go take a seat and someone will be with you. Hi, I'll be helping you today. You're who I'm pleading my case to? Is there a problem? No, no, no problem. Let's go. So are you gonna speak? My sister tricked me right when I was able to pick my name. Are you stupid? Excuse me? Maybe you should just be smarter. But I didn't know that it was my turn to pick my name. Pay more attention. Please, can't you just consider it? Only if you can help me too. Like how? I need a date to my sister's wedding and I'm desperate. Oh wait, Annie sounds kind of cute. I could go with that. So what name did you get? Oh, it says Annie Rection. Bailey, are you serious? I think you need to read that one more time. What? What do you mean? Do you hear what you're saying? Annie Rection. Oh! Oh! Decline! Oh my god, I can't believe I almost accepted that! You need to figure out how to read, apparently. Whatever. Remember, you can only decline two times. I know, but the next one has to be better than that. Yeah, you better hope so. Ben. I mean, that's usually a boy's name, but I could go by Ben. What is it this time? Ben Dover. Girl, you have got to be kidding me, right? Not again. Oh, hey, Amanda. Yeah, that's not my name anymore. It's Taylor Swift now. That's the name you got? Yeah, isn't it awesome? What did you get? You don't want to know. Please be good. PP time. I don't want to be called PP. Sis, please tell me there's another way to change my name. There is, but you're not going to like it. I can see why you would be desperate. What's that supposed to mean? You've been mean since I started talking to you. If you had an aura, it would be red. Whatever, will you do it or not? If I say yes, will you change my name? Yes, I will. Wait, I have one condition. Fine, what? I want your piece of cake too. That's it, deal. Deal. 
So when's the wedding? In one hour. So you better change. I'm not changing. You can't wear that. Listen, buddy, I'm doing you a favor and I will not be putting on a dress. You're so stubborn. Hi, oh my gosh, you must be Zach's new girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm his mom, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a professional mime. Oh, I'd love to see. Oh, uh, oh, wow. That was good. Thank you. Well, it was nice to meet you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was trying to make a good first impression as your girlfriend. You're embarrassing me. Behave or I won't change your name. Fine, I'll behave. Oh, look, here comes the groom. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Uh, she's my ex-girl. How could you invite your ex-girlfriend to our wedding? Well, I didn't. <clears throat> Why don't we go talk about this in a separate room, honey? Why are you dragging me? Congrats again. I'd say the mission was successful. Thanks, that made me feel a little bit better. Good, I'm glad to help. Look at you being all nice now. Whatever, don't get used to it. Your hair looks stupid. Hi guys, thank you all so much for coming. Does this mean that you'll change my name now? No, not yet. What? But that was our deal. I know, but I need just one more thing. You can't do that. Actually, I can because I have the power to change your name. There's an after party and my ex-girlfriend's going to be there. So what does that have to do with me? I need you to help me make her jealous. I don't know about that. I just helped you make yours jealous unless you want to be named toilet paper forever. No, I don't want to be called toilet paper forever. So I guess you got me. Baby, what are you doing here? Baby, I thought you were broken up. We are. No, we're not. Is this a new girl? Hold my hoops. I'm going to beat your <laughs> ass. Hi, nice to meet ah, you. Who are you and where did you come from? I'm your imaginary friend. I don't have an imaginary friend. What am I, five? I'm here to help you until you find your soulmate. You're the only one who can see me. What could you possibly help me with? Everything. Fine, but don't talk to me at school. I don't want to look crazy. I'll try my best. Hey, bestie, you look so good today. Thank you, so do you. You can't trust her. What are you talking about? Who are you talking to? No one. You're coming to my party later, right? <laughs> of course I am. Cool, see you there. See ya. I told you not to talk to me at school. What are you trying to sabotage me or something? That girl is not your friend. I really don't think you should go to that party either. You just want me to be a loser. We're going. There's got to be at least 200 people here. This is a bad idea. Could you stop yapping, please? Have you guys seen my best friend? Yeah, I think she went upstairs. Okay, thanks. Seriously, you don't want to do this. Whatever. <gasps> um, it's not what it looks like. You're hooking up with my boyfriend behind my back? Create a potion? Is it gonna make someone fall in love with me for Valentine's Day? No, but if you collect all six ingredients, your soulmate appears. That sounds like more fun than rotting in my bed all day. A piece of your enemy's hair? How am I supposed to get that? Hey Mary, do you like my new necklace? Ew, no, it looks hideous. Why would you wear scissors? To do this. Did you just cut my hair? Say your last words. I gotta go. No way, you actually chopped your hair. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. You could have just pulled one strand out. That might have made more sense in retrospect. You're so dumb. A skateboard from the skate park? You could just steal one. If I take someone's skateboard, I'm gonna get beat up. Then I'm coming, I'd love to see that. So what's the game plan? <gasps> I have an idea. <laughs> hey, I think skateboarding is so cool. I've always wanted to learn. Can you teach me? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd love to. I'm like so stupid, I don't even know how to hold it. Hey, come back! We have to go. This is so easy. I'm gonna have a soulmate in no time. Huh? 